This dialysis center in El Damer in Sudan's River Nile state is under pressure. It was built to treat local patients with kidney failure, but that was before four months of fighting changed everything in Sudan. Now, more and more patients from far away regions are coming here seeking help. We were displaced from Khartoum because of the war, and the people here at the center received us, but lately there's been a lot of issues. There are no tubes because of shortages, so we hope the Ministry of Health will provide some. We fled from Khartoum because the war has made it impossible to get dialysis there, so we can't come here and face the same issues. As the number of patients rises, staff here are making do with whatever they have. There's a shortage of medical supplies, medicines, and other crucial life-saving equipment. And for those with renal failures, the shortages can be fatal. Sudan's doctor syndicate says dozens of patients with renal failures have died since the war started in April. We suffer greatly to the point that the centre went out of service due to mismanagement by the state ministry. The centre is back, but the threat for it to go out of service is still there because of the lack of the medical necessities for renal dialysis. We, as patients, are calling on organisations to stand by us during this crisis that killed many dialysis patients because of this war. The syndicate has also warned that at least 8,000 patients with kidney failure may lose their lives in the coming weeks, and dialysis centres in some states may cease to operate if the shortage of medical supplies is not addressed. We lack the necessities for dialysis and urge for their provision as soon as possible. The first to be affected will be the patient. We have nothing to do but to urge international aid organisations to provide them as soon as possible. If we don't have these provisions soon, the center will not be able to carry out dialysis because there are no alternatives to dialysis medications. For now, patients here continue to receive treatment for their kidneys and hope that supplies arrive soon to help keep them alive. Hiba Morgan, Al Jazeera.